my life fades. The vision dims. All that remain are memories. To understand this film, you have to go back to another time. Another place. To the 1980s. To Chico, California. Chico was a town powered by an avalanche of idiot fraternities and warm kegs of beer. And an even warmer climate, so hideously hot, it made your skin bubble and sweat. I remember a firestorm of vomit-filled parties. An avalanche of uptight sorority girls sashaying about whilst the frat boys fought for reasons long forgotten. Mighty tribes of drunken fools ready to wage war for that last keg of juice. For without their precious Budweiser, they were nothing. In this maelstrom of decay, ordinary students were boozed and smashed. I remember the video documentary some of us Australian exchange students made. We were sociology majors studying this whirlwind of rot and were fascinated by the ruined dreams in this wasted land. We decided to leave the fraternity fools behind and headed to the campus dormitories. We embedded ourselves in Whitney Hall for several months. After a while, the students forgot our cameras were there, recording the complexities of their teenage lives. We showcased the class warfare and the entrenched abnormality of their dormitory existence, but to our surprise, when we premiered our film, the city crumbled and exploded and touched off a blaze of violence which made us rush out of town on the road to a white line nightmare eventually gaining safe passage to the wasteland of Los Angeles where we managed to show our footage to a group of Hollywood people they laughed at our video but decided to purchase it anyway they took our precious footage and decided to make their own movie based on our efforts. In exchange for their blood money, we signed some papers and gave away the rights and saw, to our horror, how much they changed the true events we captured on video, twisted it into a 35mm warped teenage fantasy narrative, changing the location from Chico State University to a suburban high school and even changing most of the characters' names. So, if you want to know the real story behind Pretty in Pink, I invite you to watch this unedited, non-Hollywood, digitized VHS footage that has been suppressed by court order until now. But be advised, the real story was not Pretty in Pink. More like Pretty in Puke.